Hey guys, it's Mason with First and Finishing, and today's video we're going to be going over the settings and controls on your Electron Plus 3 Master M and your Electron Plus 3 Master H. First things first, we're going to start off with the controller. To turn it on, you're going to hit this on button here. It's going to run through a boot up screen. At the top we have our two electrostatic settings, we have our KV and our microamps. KV is kind of the wrap that the powder has around parts. Microamps is the attraction to the metal that the powder has. Next we have our two air controls. We have our 4.5 and 60. This is your total air and this is your transfer air. How that's important, there's 4.5 cubic meters per hour of air through both of these lines at all times. And 60 represents 60% 60 of that air is directly in this red line. So 60% of that 4.5 is going through this. It's going to come inside this pump, make a hard 90 degree turn and blow back this way. That's what creates the suction to be able to pull up the powder from your pickup tube or from your hopper. The remaining 40% is going to be in this black line and that's just going in here and blowing this way. That's kind of an assist there to help the powder go through your powder hose and come out of your gun at a nice consistent flow. So you're going to use both of these settings here to create the powder cloud how you like it and they're fully customizable to whatever you want. General rule of thumb, if you want a little bit more powder, you're going to turn up this percent air. You want a little less powder, you're going to turn it down. We also have the ability to save programs, so if you like a program that works really well for a product that you do somewhat often, you can hold this button down, it'll start flashing, you can change it to whatever program you want, say we're going to change it to program 5, hold it down again, and this is going to lock it into the system, so now if you get off of it by changing a setting like this, you can recall that program by hitting this button and scrolling to it. We have four factory presets. We have our first one, which is recommended for easy flat work. We have our second one, which is recommended for multi-coat or two-coat parts. We have our third one, which is recommended for complicated and Faraday parts. And we have our fourth one, which is like our first one, but it uses the maximum 120 kV, 120 microamps, and it sprays a little bit more powder, which means it has slightly better transfer efficiency than the first one, but again, it's for easy flat work. To go to the second page of settings, you're gonna hit this book icon there. Up first, we have our rinsing air. This is the amount of air in this black line right here on the front of the gun handle. This helps keep our electrode cool and clean from building up powder. Next, we have our double tap feature. So for example, we're on program one and we change this to that program five that we made. We can be spraying at that program one. And then when we want to, we can switch to that program five by double tapping this trigger twice. Now we're on program five, we can spray there. And then we can switch back if we want to. We have an hour meter here to see how long the trigger's been pulled on this system. We have a trigger counter here. We have a brightness setting here. If you tap it, you can adjust it. To go to our third page, hit this book icon again. Here are a bunch of timers. So in 23 hours, this timer will go off, and that is trigger time pulled. What we use these timers for is to see how long spare parts are lasting us to make sure we stay up on changing them before they wear out and cause more problems. So we're done with all the settings in here. Up top here, we have our fluidization and vibrating table control. This is either an on or off. So you turn it on when you're in multicolor, it means it's gonna be based on the trigger. So when you pull this trigger, it'll turn on and it'll shut off after 20 seconds. Or if you're in hopper mode, you can hold this down, change this to hopper. And now it's either on or off based on pushing this button. So on, off. You can turn on the Bluetooth using this button there. And again, all of these settings are completely customizable by hitting the button next to them and using the dial to change them. The Electron C1 gun like this has four buttons on the back. You can hit this P button to toggle between any of the programs on your main screen. You can plus and minus them how you would like. And for example, if you don't like that double tap feature, you can come over here and swap between two different programs just by doing this. You can hold the P button down. It'll run a fast purge. That's good for cleaning out your airlines. That way you don't have powder sitting in your powder hose for too long due to moisture and buildup. This Electron gun also has a built-in flashlight, so you can either turn it on by pressing the back button like this, it'll be on, or if you hold it down, it'll flash, and now you can turn it on by pressing the trigger. So that's all the settings as far as the control unit and gun. Now there's a few more settings on the stand, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is our fluidization control. We use this regulator and dial to control how much air is in this orange tubing here. Now this is more of a visual setting rather than an air pressure setting, so I'll show you what it should look like. So I'm going to start slowly turning the regulator and you'll see it start to bubble up just like that. Now if it's blowing out of your bag like that, that's not good. That means you're using too much air. It should be more something even a little less than that. Just like that. You just want it bubbling up just a bit, but obviously not blowing out of the bag. So that's how you use it on box feeds. Now whether you're using a small hopper or a big 50 pound hopper, the same rules apply. So you're going to turn it on and slowly increase your air. 
Now small hoppers are a little more finicky, so you may have to shake it up a little bit to prevent it from throwing all your powder out at once. Um, bigger hoppers doesn't really happen, so you're going to shake it up a little bit when you first start, and then you're going to turn it down, something like that. So when your hopper looks like this, that means you're good. You go ahead and put your lid on, and you're ready. One other major setting on your control unit is this main air filter regulator back here. I recommend between 80 to 100 PSI. I'm about at 90 right now. This way I have no spitting or surging or any issues like that. So that's it as far as the controls and settings on your Electron Plus 3 Master M and Electron Plus 3 Master H. If you have any questions or if you're interested in getting one, feel free to send us an email or check out our website at firstfinishing.net. But thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you next time.